Hello, welcome back to another episode of Modded Kerbal Space Program, where I'm flying this giant weird refinery thing, trying to uh, meet up with our station. Um, and Bobby's getting a... ready to start something else. Yeah, actually, I only need uh, like 18 more science to get another level of science here. So I'm going to do some, some cheap... Uh, science gathering here are you aware we still have like a part like out in like left field with uh bill bob and alpart kerman in it um i'm gonna recover it yeah go ahead all right there we go <laughs> uh all right so i'm gonna go over here into the uh, va or into the um aab the aircraft the uh, space plane Space it's just bed. called the space plane hangar. Space plane hangar. And we're going to pop out this guy. And... Let's see here. Let's get ourselves... Uh, oh, that's, that is a big fuel tank. You do not want a fuel tank that size. I want a jet fuel tank. Is that even jet? I don't think that's jet fuel. No, I just want to. Is there a way I can just sort by jet fuel? Uh, I don't think so. Fuel type. And zeroed out are. Well, we're not going to go crazy with this particular thing, so we're going to do this here, and uh, let's see here. Jet engines are going to be actually in engines. Basic jet engine. Okay, we need to burn towards our target here. It's a little bit hard. This thing is a tiny, tiny bit unwieldy. You know what? No, I'm not gonna do this with a jet engine. That's 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 crazy and stupid. Thank you for reminding me that this is crazy and stupid. Um, I just yeah, I just need to slap something together. Okay, right about there. Okay, what are your what are you doing? Like I said, I'm gonna get some cheap and quick science here. Actually, I like this octagonal adapter here. And get me a give me a lander can. What cheap and quick science are you getting? Uh, I'm gonna get some cheap and quick science with the uh, uh, with uh, uh, probably mainly the soil sample kit and uh, maybe some some other odds and ends, some mystery goo. We'll see some science juniors. Yeah, well, let's let's actually we can. With this guy, oh, I'm in the space plane hangar. You know what? Here, we're going to leave. We're going to hit new. And then we're going to leave the space plane hangar. So I can do some crazy radial mounting on this. And head over to the VAB, hopefully without crashing. Okay, we are very close to our um, colony now. Uh, we need to kill our relative velocity. There we go. All right, now we need to point towards our target and bring our relative velocity around that way lined up like so there we go um let's see what's our intersect now point one that's like running into it <laughs> <laughs> This was the uh, this was probably the smoothest um, rendezvous that I've had in this series of rendezvous. Um, 
That's and finally good. got the timing right on where the um where the space station needs to be when I lift off, roughly. Oh, that's good. Ah, uh, inflatable agriculture module. That sounds cool. Uh, nuclear fuel. Unfortunately, I still only have we only have the the, the gears, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Which they kind of work. Yeah. Here, let's let's. Really You're gonna try and roam around the space center, aren't you? Yep. And this this uh, you know what? No. Well, uh, <laughs> mm, no. Let's let's we gotta act serious, sort of. Do we? Yeah, I think so. Maybe just. Why did I once. just lose my target? Mm -hmm. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. This time of day, on this part of the world, completely contained within your kitchen. Yes. Can I see? No. There we go. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. All right, we're going to control from here, and then we need to rotate around so that our docking port is facing where we need it to. Should be right about here. Okay rotate around a little bit so that we are there we go oriented in the correct direction who needs this docking alignment thing anyways <laughs> it totally didn't work at all for me maybe it's probably mostly just because i don't actually know how to read it but Yes, that is way more RCS fuel than I need, but yeah, you know, we're not playing career mode. <laughs> uh, and let's go. There we go, and drop. Oop, no. No, oh, come on. Yeah, I really. <sighs> there we go, and click the land we can. Now let's lower us to the ground here and click launch. There's no kind of science like cheap science. I'm in, I, I'm in such a good Kerbal mood. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, yesterday was 420, not today. <laughs> That's true. Oh, wow, we totally missed. How did I... How did I do that? Okay, so let's turn some RCS on. All right. All right, we need to rotate hey, around so that this is in a is meaningful way. All right, let's... There we go. You know, let's not perform a soil sample on the, uh, on the launch pad because that... Uh, then, 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 then everything won't be uh let's see here how am i going to get no, that rcs isn't doing anything i don't have like brakes on do i no is it if i do oh, wow let's see what if i do no well, that is that is definitely not it here we go that come on rcs push Hmm. Apparently we are too massive to be pushed by RCS. I can't <laughs> understand why not. Wait, 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 no, it didn't move. All right, Alpha, get out and push. All right, revert. <laughs> revert to light. Revert to VAB. Hmm. 
So, when in doubt, more boosters. All right, I think we're actually relatively on target here. Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. And we're locked in. Excellent. Uh, let's turn the RCS on so we stop spinning. Maybe. Just a little bit. All right. Let's see if uh, three times the amount of uh, RCS will huh. get us going. I totally just realized that I forgot to like put solar panels on the part that I just brought up. Yep. Um, and you've been disconnected. Yes, because I crashed. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I forgot to put solar panels on the part that I brought up, which is fine. Um, thankfully, you know, um, I had enough electric charge to get here. You know, my, 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 my crashes right now don't even have me down. That is how good that is how good of a Kerbal mood I am in. I, again, do not know why. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, we have loads of RCS fuel left, so we're going to restock the supply on the station. Alt. And, well, not that there's actually that much to restock here. Um, right, well, that's attached now. Um, so, I guess we need to bring Hudrid back. Do you want me to, uh, bring up, like, a whole bunch, like, uh, as soon as I get done, you know, combobulating my contraption here. Uh-huh. Uh, do you want me to, uh, bring up, uh, like, a whole stack of solar panels? No, I mean, there's solar panels on the station. I just didn't bring them on the part I just brought up. Um, oh, gotcha. Yeah, you got plenty of, I'm assuming you got plenty of batteries too, probably. I didn't really bring any batteries, but I think all of these parts have like internal storage. And I didn't have any of like, I figure we can bring, like, if we really need batteries, we can bring like a whole section up just dedicated for batteries and probably like better solar panels once we have the mm -hmm. Gigantor or whatever ones unlocked. Um,. But right now, since I didn't have the gigantic, the really big ones, whatever they're called, um, unlocked, I wasn't super worried about the solar panels. Like, I put panels on, but I figure we'll probably add, like, big solar panel arms or something later. All right, so now we need to bring this guy back. <sighs> I am so glad this isn't like the days when we used to do uh, uh, Minecraft and I would have to like sync every time I crashed or came back or something. Well, the only reason we had to do that is because we were recording with... Um, Separate files, yeah. Yeah, we, well, we were recording with... Uh, we were using DxTory then. Yes, let us never speak of DxTory again. I like DX Tori. It's just the file, si and you can get the file sizes smaller. Um, I actually like DX Tori more than OBS because of how the audio tracks and stuff work with it. But um, the 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 file sizes were just really big, and you can get them smaller. But it wouldn't on my computer. It wouldn't run with the settings for the smaller uh, files. Basically, OBS gotcha. works works fine for us for the moment. It's not as good of a quality as um, DX Tori was, but... All right, you know, so here we are. We don't have, like, 60 gig file sizes for each video. <laughs> yeah. Come on! I've got three RCSs going! <laughs> six, three times, six RCS engines going. Move forward. This isn't that heavy. <laughs> vessel mass it's only 11,000 kilo 11 almost 12,000 kilograms 
Uh, Scott Manley, don't write to me about like specific moment and moment of impulse divided by weight. <laughs> or actually, hold on. I, I I think I know what might be part of the problem here. Hold on. Let me right click on this. Your internet Un must not be great today. Unlock steering. Why does my voice kind of keep going weird? Uh You've, you, yeah, you've been a little robot-y today. Been a little robot-y? Actually, well, yeah. no, it's because I'm... I, I wonder if I'm still uploading that one particular file. Uh, maybe. From a previous recording. All right, actually... <laughs> the I reason I why the... the first Civ video last week, uh... <laughs> no, didn't, uh, have, uh, Bobby's footage. I guess, well, it's this week when we record, um, but... Yeah. When we're recording, cool. but uh, yeah, last week for when you're seeing this. Yes, in 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 YouTube time. In YouTube time, in relative time. <laughs> yes. Unlock steering. Okay, let's uh, Unlock fast steering. forward a little bit here. Oh, I thought it was the fact that the steering was locked. Uh. How many RCS thrusters do you have? I well, I have six trying to propel me forward right now. I mean, it should work. We moved those station parts around. That's true, we did. And I, I don't know how heavy those were in comparison, but... All right. Perform soil? Uh, well, of course not. No, I, I think I already did the soil sample from here. Uh, Alpart. What are we going to do, Alpart? <laughs> mm. All right. Did you get the science from the mapping satellite yet? Oh, actually, no. That would be a good idea. Did our... Did um, were, I noticed Actually, had... you may have. Well, I've, I've done it once or twice already. So if I, I go mean, you can to, try. Uh, where is the uh, stationary, stationary comsat? No. N no. Mapping. Here it is. Yeah, our our Mun probe two is now officially in in Mun orbit. <laughs> I think the game just gets confused because it's been in Mun orbit before. Yeah. I'm thinking that maybe at some point, like, during its orbit and the Mun's orbit around Kerbin, it, like, leaves Mun orbit. So, we will analyze... Uh, yeah, I didn't get any science from that. I had a feeling you had already done it. Yeah, I didn't know if it was one of those things you could kind of do multiple times or if you... I don't think so. Um, there's other mapping things we can put up there. Um, I, I just haven't gotten around to it yet because we've been doing this. Uh, it's over the polar uh, ice caps right now. Which which polar? It's over the North Pole. Right, Is it 2,000 meters? Is it Kerbin's North Pole or the Mun's North Pole where there's supposed to be like a UFO Easter egg? Uh, it's, uh, is it the North Pole or the South Pole? It's on Kerbal. No. Kerbin. Kerbin? Yeah. That's not really, like, all that interesting. I think I've seen, like, video footage of most of the Easter eggs. Yep. All right. Um. Ha. Huh. All right. Let's recover. So, all right. What do you um? What do you need up there? Well, let's I'm take a look. I mean, we're we're getting close to the end of the episode, but I think uh, I'm not sure how long we were waiting for you your game to reload. Um. Let's uh. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I just took up the fuel refinery, which I'm not 
entirely sure we needed, but I took it up anyways. Um, so I think the next thing to go is probably, um, the, I guess we, we're going to need the logistics hub, I guess is probably next, and the machinery plant. Basically, all the big parts are left. Um, plus, like, we'll need to take, like, the agricultural module, um, the inflatable workspace, the habitation ring. The inflatable agricultural mo module looks like it's for, like, a, a, a planetary base. No, it's, it's not. A it, because it's a half circle. What or is are there you another looking one? at? I'm looking at the inflatable agricultural mod module. Oh, I'm looking at, sorry, it's the OKS agricultural module. Oh, okay. So we need, you need the logistics hub, the machine plant? Uh, yeah. And then mobile repair, mobile refinery, har harvesting, science lab. Science lab I already took up. Um, it's just the like really big ones, the ones that look like uh, the mobile refinery or the machinery plant. All of the small ones that are the same size and shape as the science lab I've taken up already. So the okay. next step is like the next size up, basically. And then we'll need to take up the I the next well it's not even really the next size actually I guess it kind of is bigger like the logistics hub and then the like orbital shipyard. Um, is it? And then we'll need to take up like the habitation stuff. Yeah, so I've got the logistics. So I'm um, what? Where is the? still haven't found the OKS. Okay, do you see where the machinery plant is? Or, yes. sorry, um, how about the or the mobile refinery? Uh, I think that was back on page one. Fuel, mm. fuel refinery. No. No. It's in utilities, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all in the yeah. same category. Okay, just checking. Uh, mobile repair, mobile refinery, there it is. Okay. Oh, okay, it's, it's agricultural the same module. Page there. there it is. Okay, yeah. I see it right below it. That's... Hmm. Okay. All right. So, let's... And you've been launching with uh, the, like, the, hexa, the hexagonal um, probe? The, no, the... no, I'm using Kerbals. Oh, you're using Kerbals? Okay. Yeah, I, okay, so what I do... Um, actually, here, why don't I just... Uh, let me just load. Let's load this ship, and then I will upload it so you can see. Oh, okay. What I'm doing here. Um, let's see. Craft. Here we go. Um, upload. We're gonna upload the whatever. The whatever has been uploaded. All right. So let's get this craft. Thunder down. Craft whatever saved. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> oh, that is. That is a rocket. <laughs> yes, it is. And damn aerodynamics, apparently. Yeah, it seemed to work. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, if you see what I did up there with the capsule, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you get up there and once you're docked, 
you just right click on that docking port underneath those RCS tanks mm -hmm. and you click decouple node okay. and the capsule will just pop off and you can fly that back. I gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, I did, like I said before, like that particular, obviously that particular one, I mean, you don't need that one anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, cause that one's already, that's one I already took up. Um, and I didn't actually put solar panels on this, uh, on this Piece, but I should have. And I'm just going to slap a couple on here. Just for safety's sake. I can probably use um, the Kerbal Attachment stuff to add more later. I would think. Uh, let's see there. And then there. And here. Here should work just fine. All right, so the, the docking ports go through the... Well, I just have to decouple the node. So you, on the bottom of your capsule, you had a docking port, right? Uh, yeah, it's attached to the station, not the capsule. Okay. But yeah. And then so there's a docking... The... There should be a docking port on the other end, too. Yeah, so you need two docking ports, one on the bottom of the capsule and one on the... No, no. You don't act no. so okay. If you attach a docking port, like the 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 docking end of the docking port, flat mm -hmm. to something, mm -hmm. um, you don't actually need a docking port. You can no. another docking port. You can they they attach like that, and then you can if you right click and decouple, it just separates, leaving the docking port attached to one piece. Okay, and then this stuff you can control without a. The, the, the station parts, to get them to link to the rest of the station, you you can just control them without a command pod or a... What do you mean? Or a... Well, like, okay, so I've decoupled. Am, am, you am don't I decouple until you're until docked. Until you're attacked. Okay, until I'm docked. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then... Okay. All right. So we're going to go utility. Uh, that's... Yeah, because all we have to do is de-orbit ourselves so that's what we'll mainly use that rcs stage for just for deorbiting well uh, yeah you'll need the rcs to you'll need the rcs to deorbit and uh, for the whole docking thing but that's why those rcs tanks were underneath the command pod and you're gonna probably want two of those round or cylindrical rcs tanks all right let's all right. right. Well, so, this is set back up. Uh, which one? Which piece are you using? Um, I'm going to take up the. Uh, I'm going to take up the. Um, the agricultural. Oh God, that is bigger than I. Is that really the agricultural mod? That is bigger than I thought it was going to be. That is. Why that don't we a... save the agriculture module? Let's try and get all of the same types of parts up there. It'll make laying the whole thing out easier. Okay. All right. So why don't you uh, grab the... Why don't you take the mobile refinery? Mobile refinery. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take the mobile refinery up. Uh... And then, 
before we do that, docking ports under structural? Maybe. No, they're under uh, utility as well. God, everything's under utility. You need to they're on the that. first page. It's like the first page and the uh, third row down. What is a docking washer? Um, Motorized docking I have, washer. I have no idea. Hint, the red spot designates the fixed base. Eh, by Magic Smoke Industries. Oh, um, it's probably, well, Magic Smoke Industries is the, um, that's the, like, moving parts mod. Uh, yeah, the moving parts mod. That's really weird. I don't know what exactly that does. Um. It rotates is what it does. I don't know why it rotates, though. Uh, okay. I don't know what the point of it rotating is. But who knows? Um, I think we're at the end of the episode, though. So if you liked the video, click like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for some more Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. Bye.